I'm sure you're wondering, is this a review dunking on Temtem or a review cheering for the end of Pokemon and the violent beheading of Pikachu? Pikachu! But first, before I pull out the guillotine, get back in your cage, Pikachu. <clears throat> anyway, first, let me tell you a story. Picture this. You're fully clothed, gliding across the ocean and still water on your surfboard when two ladies in bikinis swim towards you. After besting them in a sporting Temtem duel, they call you cute and invite you back to their house for a majestic evening. You immediately run as fast as you can through the bushes, up the mountains, all while being attacked by wild animals at every turn, only to find out that the majestic evening you were promised. Maybe a little bit of trouble, a touch of twister, perhaps a little bit of battleship. This night of nights is behind a fucking work in progress sign. And then, you get kicked from the server and get put in a queue behind a couple thousand people. <laughs> Temtem, the Pokemon killer. Temtem, the absolute disaster. Temtem, whatever will get you more clicks on your unscripted rant video. And I'm not just saying that because I like stirring shit. Even though I do! Millennials cheering for the death of the most iconic brand of their childhood is a big 2020 mood, by the way. I listen up, sweaty gamers. Let me tell you what the real deal is with this game. No doubt about it. This game had a rough launch, but they seem to have fixed most of the problems people experienced in the first week. Well, most of them. Temtem does actually have some pretty solid things going for it, though. This online Pokemon clone really nails it in a couple ways. The music is good. The game is cute. Look at it. Look at it. It does like a little Naruto run. Oh my God. <laughs> and actually Temtem is definitely more difficult than Pokemon, which I mostly think is a good thing. Data burst. Oh God. What the f one shot it? Are you kidding me? What the f Temtem? <laughs> it's pretty obvious that the core audience of this game are people who want more of a challenge than what Pokemon traditionally has to offer. People who want to be able to play alongside their friends, and people that don't feel like buying a Switch to play Pokemon. And also, for some reason, want to see side thigh on these little doughboy people. The game removes a lot of Pokemon's RNG elements, gives you more ways to power up your Temtems in relation to each other, and it also adds a stamina system to increase the difficulty and strategy involved in most encounters. Except for when it causes the AI to slowly kill itself. Yeah, I'm thinking they might want to patch that at, at some point. It also gets rid of HMs altogether. Instead, you get specific items throughout the story that help you progress. Instead of having to carry around a shit by barrel, B barrel, Bibberol. <laughs> Temtem also has a story. Is it particularly interesting? No. But tell me with the straight face that Pokemon's is. Although this game definitely has more wacky dialogue in it, which I think that I like. And actually, Temtem isn't as linear as I was expecting. There are more than a couple locations that find you off the beaten path, which I did find myself off of more than a couple times. So if you have as terrible of a sense of direction as I do, you may find you get even more hours out of this game. Another neat feature of this game by comparison to Pokemon is because of the difficulty, you're more incentivized to carry around a full team of Temtem, all of which you can give unique names to. Suck butt. Invalid words. What do you have against sucking butt? Tim Tim? Your anti butt sucking agenda. Um. Liquor. Yoink! Thank you! I'm just saying, what's wrong with butt sucking? So yeah, Temtem is pretty much a Pokemon game with a couple online features and a little more combat depth. But for some reason, people think just because it copied the format, we should dismiss it outright. Not to sound 75 years old or anything, but I'm pretty sure video games have been copying each other for decades. Super Smash Brothers and PlayStation All-Stars, Battlefield 1942 and Call of Duty, Dota and League of Legends, and nearly all of the Battle Royale games your snot-nosed little brother likes. Copying a format isn't really a bad thing in and of itself, Copying a format without improving the format significantly is a bad thing. For Temtem, the question of whether or not it's added enough is still hanging in the air, especially because this game isn't even completed. But so far, nothing about it wowed me. 
It's a fun game, but is it really worth the price tag for the somewhat limited new features it offers? Honestly, the biggest drawback of this game is that it's $35. You can get a couple great, innovative, finished indie titles for the price of this game. Temtem seems to be one of those indie early access titles where you pay a premium to support further development of the game. Speaking of premiums, I have a Patreon. I like money and I would really appreciate it if you gave me some of yours, but you don't have to anyway. Let's go back to the video. So honestly, I hope they add a lot more than just extra areas to explore and a handful of new Temtem. I wish there were more puzzles. I wish there were more layers to the combat system. I wish there were more ways to interact with other players, and I wish I could have actually had that threesome. Basically, I just wish this game had a lot more going on because Temtem is neither really bad nor really good. It's mostly just a fine experience with a good amount left to be desired. But of course, as I mentioned, it's an early access title, meaning it's very much a work in progress. So who knows what it could be one day. And listen guys, another game won't kill Pokemon. If anything, Nintendo will take Game Freak behind the shed and terminate their relationship if one day Pokemon doesn't sell enough copies. Stay still, Pikachu. Just... Just look at the flowers. Pika, Pika. Either way, I doubt Temtem has even gotten Nintendo sweating. But that said, this game does have the potential to cater to a different demographic of people than Pokemon does. People that want an online interactive experience. And people that don't want to spend $300 for a worse computer to play one game. Emphasis on it having potential though, Temtem hasn't exactly offered a plethora of online activities yet. But hey, maybe it will. The real question is if you're okay with paying a premium for this game in hopes it might add a lot more down the line. I know personally, after many hours of playing Temtem, I found myself thinking I would have been just as satisfied by replaying an older Pokemon title from my childhood for the price of absolutely nothing. But maybe you're the type that just can't get enough Pokemon in your life. And if you are, this might be the right game for you. So in conclusion, because I think that rating systems are stupid, that's why I give this game a 6 out of 8.2 tick lickers. Hey! If you liked any of the clips you saw in this video, consider following me on Twitch where I stream multiple times a week. Usually in those streams, I come up with the ideas for these videos. If you do watch me there, I might even name a Temtem after you. Chat learned a new move! This neutral technique deafens the whole class. Ahem, <laughs> team. Do the shrill voice, chat, your specialty. <laughs> it was super effective! Geek work! Okay, chat actually did carry. Way to go. Well done. <laughs> well played, everyone! Well played! I also haven't decided if I should be streaming more on YouTube or mainly just stick to Twitch. So give me your thoughts on what platform you prefer to watch me on down below. And follow me on Twitter for updates about my stream and videos. And also sometimes I retweet videos of otters. But before I say goodbye, special thank you to all of my patrons. Jack Burton 2, Shun's Boy, Wonder WV, Recon is Dead Inside, Gray Spectre, Scott, Shadow Warrior, Siphon, Jesse, Monk, David, Great Osiris, Vorman, David, Oswald, VDB, Emiliano, Alex, Dakota, Daniel, Damien. Thank you all so much. Goodbye, and I will see you next time.